Okay, so here's what you're going to do for example three. If you notice, this is the one that you're going to be doing. This is my example of what to do. The first thing that you need to think about is what is the initial value. So I look at my y-intercept and I look, where is this hitting on the graph? Okay, 40. So my first point can be this, 0, 40. My initial value is 40. So I need to make sure that I'm writing in full sentences. I'm going to write my initial value, or actually, even better, the cost for the... Oh, I didn't fix that, sorry. For the fire stick is going to be 40 Okay, then over here, we need to find the constant rate of change. Now is when I would like to use my rise over run. So this is 40. Okay, and I'm going to find a place where it hits the graph evenly. Okay, it hits here, but I think it hits sooner than that, right? Let's see. Boom, right here. Okay, so I do my rise over run. My rise is this way and my run is this way. So first, before I count down, I have to see my intervals. My intervals are going by what? 5, 10, 15, 20. My intervals are going by 5. So I'm here, and my rise, how much did it go up? It went 5, 10, 15. So over here, I would have 15, and then over here, it went over, what am I going by? Just singles? 1, 2. So that's 15 over 2. Okay, and when I would divide that, that's going to give me some kind of a decimal. I think it's going to be like 7.5. Let's double check. Right, 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. Okay, I was correct. So my rise over run is going to be 7.5. I can use that in the equation if I want, or I could just write it like this, 15 over 2. Either way is fine. Over here, my monthly subscription, I'm going to say my monthly subscription is $7.50 because that's how it translates easier. Um, or you can write 15 over 2. Okay. Then for that next part, you're going to plug in and you're going to figure out once you know that, right? So this is 15 over 2. This is 40. And then if I write my equation, it's going to be y is equal to 15 over 2 plus 40, okay? Once I have that, I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, and I'm going to plug in. So here, I'm going to take the number 18 and plug that in. Oops, I forgot the x. For the letter, for the variable x. So when I do it here, it's going to be y is equal to 15 over 2 times 18 plus 40. Whatever I get, that's my answer here. And then I do it again for two years, which two years again is represented by 24 months. So go ahead. You're going to do that same kind of thing now when you do yours, which is this one right here. Okay. Good luck. I'm sure you're all going to do great. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. You have today. You also have tomorrow to work on this. And then we're also going to kind of start doing the part C, which I will provide another video for you tomorrow. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to send an email, a message, post in the stream, whatever it is that you need.